the reason we're getting very messed up nowadays in terms of gender identity and, and where we're going and, and especially men to find it very difficult to, to know what a man is or what a man should do is because in letting go of the roles that define our jobs we've also let go of the roles that define our identity and if you don't have anything to define your identity you're going to be lost that's you know that's the basic truth of the matter um, so what do you attach your identity to usually it's your job and it kind of goes around it's a feedback loop it's your job that defines your identity which defines what job you get um, but that's all up in the, that's all up in the air now we can we can do whatever job we want if you want to be a nurse you can be a nurse um, so where do you attach your identity to where do you get your identity from where does a man get his identity from my thinking here is that we have to reinvent roles for ourselves we can't do without roles because that's what shapes us we need to know who we are and what we are so we need to redefine what it means to be a man as as distinct from what it means to be a woman I don't like the term new man because uh, new man just seems to be defined by what women want in men and what women say they want in men is very different from what they find attractive in men so you can't cater your identity to what your opposite gender wants that's <laughs> that's absurd you've got to you've got to find what makes you happy what gives you strength completely independent from the opposite sex in the same way that women have defined what they want and who they are completely distinct from what men have wanted them to be and we need to now redefine roles define what it means to be a man um, and that's what we're working on that's what we're working on here that's, I mean that's an ongoing struggle for me men on the whole feel unhappy unless they have a, a, a female partner I don't believe the same is true with women women yes like to have a male partner but by and large they get on very well together they tend to um, their, their friendships it seems to be the case that female friendships um, uh, cater for their emotional needs male friendships tend not to touch the emotional needs men tend to be involved in uh, when they're talking when they're interacting with something that is outside of themselves like the game of football um, darts whatever it isn't the same with women women are, are not as dependent on men emotionally as vice versa is my belief men are very fearful of women even in relationships men are far more dependent on women believe it or not than women are on men possibly because a small boy is at his mother's mercy for very many years of his life who do you think is emotionally stronger? women are definitely emotionally stronger there's even been studies I mean, digital psychology showing that after a breakup well they study divorces but say a breakup um, that women get over it on average in a matter of months about three months Seems men so. take that three years two to three hours <laughs> <laughs> no, no it think, looks like yeah. that but Again, I'm coming yeah, from experience, months. and it seem it would seem as though women would get over it. They get over it a lot, lot faster than men do, which is a total lie. The whole lie to the idea that you know men are kind of completely insensitive and women we don't care. Stone cold, Steve Austin type. We're not actually. We, we have feelings. Do you know what I mean? In fact, it's the opposite. Women so, are the stone cold ones. So why is it we think that women are so sensitive and vulnerable emotionally? And it's actually because they're mothers. Are they're our mothers. We're not talking about women. We're talking about our mothers. That's what, that's what we do when, when we talk kind of all this stuff about kind of the sensitivity of women and, and, and the goodness and the innocence. We're talking about our mums. We're blaming not talking about our girlfriends. <laughs> what do you mean by talking about our mums? What's your We're point? talking about our experience of women from, our, from, from the experience of our mothers. So, so we're not looking at it. In terms of caring, in terms of. No, we're looking, at, we're looking at it from the point of view of, of a little child being, being cared for by this perfect mother. And that's, and that's our idea of women. That's when we talk about women, that's what we talk about. Well, I don't. But then you go beyond that. And there, exactly, you go beyond that. And you start talking about the women in terms of the women that we've known. And they turn out to be stone cold. They're <laughs> over and out. Of the, you know, Jesus. So how come your mother is the complete opposite to that then? I don't know. Because you are a son. So basically, you feel you owe them your life. And so that's it. You pretty much. There's nothing they can do wrong. Well, hey, well, they're the ones caring for you. And you're only a child at that point. I think my mother's the only woman that hasn't hurt me, actually. Mm. Well, she physically beat me, but, you know, that's... Yeah, well, same here. That's yeah, but that's okay. That's cultural. <laughs> <laughs>